I'm going to introduce you to our new Precision Medical PMX model vacuum regulator and PMX 900 model of filtered vacuum trap. X, because it's extra visibility with the vacuum regulator. The gauge is much larger from a patient safety standpoint. When trying to view this from a distance, it's much easier to see the gauge and where vacuum may be reading at that time. The PMX 900 trap has a lot of features to it. The ping pong ball style ball at the bottom is where the vacuum trap works as a traditional vacuum trap, trapping any debris and or fluids that may get past the canister or if it has to be maybe hooked up incorrectly where fluid is directly sucked into the vacuum trap. So that will st stop any fluid from progressing through the system. Second of all, from a safety feature, we have a green float ball that's in here. This float ball positively shows flow. It only takes about three liters a minute of flow till this ball is visible. So as long as the system is patent, you will be able to see this ball flow. And thirdly, there is the filtered bacteria filtered um, within the vacuum trap. So that acting as a last defense and acting as a protection for the vacuum regulator so that we don't get anything debris up into our vacuum regulator and certainly hopefully that it really just doesn't get to the wall, which is the worst case scenario. Turning it on, you can see that we have positive flow. So while you're performing endotracheal tube suction, or if it's on a nasogastric tube, you can see that as long as that green ball is visible, it only takes minimal flow, three liters a minute, to be able to see this green ball. If I include the system, like during tracheal suction or if something happens during nasogastric suction where this becomes occluded, you can see that the green ball disappears from view. And when you're doing your assessment, whether you're actively suctioning or going in to assess a patient with a nasogastric tube and this ball is not visible, it clearly shows that there is something wrong with the system that when you troubleshoot or if you're endotracheal suctioning, you may have a plug and you release that and remove that obstruction, you return flow to the system and the green ball becomes visible again. So it's an extra patient safety feature to be able to see flow. And if flow is visible, that means that what you're trying to do uh, with your vacuuming of the patient is effective because there is flow flowing through the system.